welcome to some more Geography Gem. Now, the weather today is absolutely horrible. Um, what do you think this is an example of? Do you think this is high pressure or low pressure weather? Have a little think about it. Okay, so we'll find out in a minute whether it's high or low pressure, the weather that is, is happening at the moment. But this is an example of what we call a frontal depression. Now, these happen quite often in the UK and they happen for a particular reason. And I'm going to explain what causes a frontal depression. So, in the UK, we are between the North Pole and between the equator. So we're right on the border between two big blocks of air that sit over the, um, over the planet. So if I show you with these, here I've got a cold air mass which is coming from the North Pole and a hot air mass coming from near the equator. This one's called a polar maritime, the cold one, and this one's called a tropical maritime. And this is what happens. The air masses travel along and they bump into each other over the top of the United Kingdom. Now if you imagine you've got this nice warm air mass here that's full of water and it hits cold air, what does warm air always do? It rises and so it begins to rise up over the top of the cold air mass like that. Now if you understand what happens when hot air rises you're going to get lots of water, water that's already evaporated in it begins to rise up in the air so it begins to get colder, condensation happens, clouds then form, and yes, you've got it, it rains. So this is what's causing rain here. The two parts where the two air masses are meeting, at the front of the air masses, this is called the front, and that's why it's called a frontal depression. Now this is a low pressure system. That was the answer to the question I asked at the very beginning, because the air is lighter and rising up. So lighter air, is low pressure, heavier air is high pressure. So that's what's happening here. Now somewhere else, off over near the equator, there's a high pressure area. And what's happening there is cold air is sinking down. The cold air, the air is much heavier there, it's sinking down. And it's all squished in that area. So what it's doing is it's trying to reach what we call equilibrium. It's trying to balance itself out. So that air that's over there is rushing into this area here as wind. And that's why quite often when you get a low pressure system, when you get what we call a frontal depression, which is what we've got today, it's really windy as well, because you've got all that wind from the high pressure area pushing into the low pressure area. So this is an example of a frontal depression.